Now I'm in the wonderful theatre at Chipping Norton, where Lionel Schreiber is going to be talking to a full house in just a moment. But Lionel, thanks for talking to me ahead of time. Your new book, Big Brother, uh -huh. is, it, is it fiction? Oh, yes. What's the starting point of the fiction? What gave you the idea? I mean, I tend to think that, you know, Kevin had a little... It had a, an umbilical to reality. Well... Most of my books do, and frankly, most people's books do. Yes. Um, if there's no connection to your life, it's a little peculiar. Um, and in this case, uh, in 2009, I lost my older brother to uh, the complications of morbid obesity. And so that made me feel that not only was it uh, uh, a good timing for me to work that through, in writing this book, but it also meant that I was probably a good person to take on this particular subject matter. And what's the role of no a novelist then that's different from um, a medical textbook or something? What can a novelist say, particularly a novelist with a close emotional link to the subject? Well, fiction fills in the emotional content of, what, of material that in other forms can be quite dry. I mean, we've all read uh, studies in newspapers about obesity and how terrible it is, or various scientific studies about um, which techniques do and don't work for weight loss. Um, it gets pretty dreary, but uh, how much people weigh has become an, an extremely emotional matter. And I think uh, this is good subject for fiction because it's both a social issue, uh, so, so that it has ramifications uh, for our m medical care, um, money, um, you know, pu public health in general, but it's also a, an intimate issue, a very personal matter, uh, which is not just to do with uh, how, what it's like to be to contend with other people and how they regard us, but also our, our, our most intimate relationship of all, and that is a relationship to ourselves. So people not only have strong feelings about uh, how, wh what other people weigh, and you know, so they can be quite judgmental about it actually, um, but they have powerful feelings about how much they weigh themselves. And did you know what your attitude was going to be? Did you know what the narrative was going to be when you started? Or was it a, per, a, a process of revelation for yourself as you went through? I usually plot my books out ahead of time, and this uh, book would be no exception. I knew that I wanted to write about a brother-sister relationship, and I've written about sibling relationships before, and I didn't feel that I had finished with, with that relationship uh, and so it's about a, a grown sister whose older brother comes to visit and they haven't seen each other for over four years and when she meets him at the airport she liter literally doesn't recognize him because he has gained hundreds of pounds and immediately this raises the question well what happened and he used to be quite fit he was an attractive man for most of his life, uh, perfectly slim. And then suddenly this, and it makes you wonder what happened in his life. Um, and that's a good fictional conceit right there because it, it, it sets up a mystery. Um, and there is a midpoint in the book where uh, the brother has overstayed his welcome. He has stayed for two months, which in my book is about uh, one month, three and a half weeks too long. <laughs> <laughs> for anybody, and um, and the husband is at his wit's end, can't stand the, his brother-in-law, and uh, has basically said, this guy has to get out, it's him or, him or me. And uh, unusually, uh, the sister decides that if her brother doesn't lose weight, he's ultimately going to eat himself to death. And so instead of just taking him to the airport, she gets him to agree that if she rents the two of them an apartment, that he will lose weight and she will help him. She will support him in every sense. Uh, and therefore, the second half of the book is all about getting that weight off. And boy, is that hard to write about. It's potentially so tedious. <laughs> oh, really? 
Yes. But, um, you know what journalists are like, and you, you know what selling a book involves. It involves coming to places like this mm -hmm. and, and talking to people. Grueling, uh, isn't it? <laughs> is it? <laughs> Do you hate it? Um, no, I was joking. Right, uh, yes. No, I, I, I especially don't hate the event. I mean, once I'm in front of an audience, I really enjoy interacting with them. My favorite part of events is always the Q&A, which usually has surprises in it, keeps me on my toes, and most of all may, means that I get to talk to people. And most of my profession is sitting in front of a screen and in some ways talking with myself, and it's a relief to discover that there, there are indeed other people out there. Would you feel discomforted uh, at admitting, as you did to me a moment ago, that you had a brother who had this problem. Does that give um, journalists um, entree to areas of your life that maybe should be just private for you? It does make them nosy. Yeah. Um, though I had to make a decision early in this release not to make my real older brother a no-go area because that's the worst thing you can do with journalists, is to tell them that they can't ask about that. That motivates them to only ask about that. You know, it's a red flag to a bull. So I'm, I'm too, uh, uh, too much of a talented manipulator <laughs> to make that mistake. Um, I guess I don't see any reason why I can't talk about my experience with my brother some. Okay. Um, because that is my starting point. I, where I draw the line is uh, where people just make the assumption, oh, this is thinly disguised autobiography or, or biography. And it's not. I mean, the character is not my brother. He does something completely different for a living. And, and the story is completely made up. So. Okay, well, let's see how it goes with the audience. It's time to let the audience in. And I hope you have a great event. And welcome to Chipping Norton. Well, thank you.